how to connect one XPU to Lenovo's Legion Go handheld console, and how to have both drivers coexist. The integrated graphics performance functions normally even when not connected to an external graphics card. In front of me are Lenovo's Legion Go handheld and our one XPU. Recently, many people have started to receive our graphics card dock. However, Many Lenovo handheld users are unsure how to correctly connect their handhelds to the One XPU, or they encounter various issues when connecting the graphics card dock. Today, I will demonstrate the process for everyone. How to connect One XPU to Lenovo's Legion Go handheld console, and how to have both drivers coexist. Even when not connected to an external graphics card, the integrated graphics performance functions normally. This is a brand new Lenovo Legion Go handheld. Let's begin the system registration process. After completing the registration, let's check the device information of this handheld. In the device settings, there is an AMD graphics card listed. No issues in the test manager. Now, let's connect our graphics card dock. When you hear the machine prompt a ding sound, let's see what changes occur. Now, it has been successfully connected. CPU is AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme. This is the integrated graphics. Here, you can clearly see the coexistence of two graphics cards. Remove the one XPU. Only integrated graphics left. After connecting, the graphics card inside the 7000 graphics card dock has appeared again. Very stable and convenient. So, why does this happen? This is actually related to the drivers. The drivers are uploaded to the cloud and shared for file transfer. If you are a new user connecting to the handheld, you can also download this driver. Since I already installed this driver on the device in my hands, so, whether I clear or reinstall, it will automatically connect to the One XPU. We have specially optimized a graphics card driver for Lenovo handhelds. If you are connecting for the first time, an exclamation mark may appear here without displaying the specific model of the AMD. You can directly select and uninstall it. After an installation, you can then install our specific driver. I will place a link below the video for you to conveniently download this driver. This handheld device doesn't have USB ports, which makes it less convenient to use. So, I directly plug it into the graphics card dock. Now, Let's move this specific Voron optimizer for Lenovo handhelds to the desktop of this device. Please note, this Voron is only intended for use with the handheld at One XPU. Other handhelds, such as the One XLE or other devices from different manufacturers, cannot use this Voron. Unzip the files on the desktop. Special reminder here, absolutely do not double click to run the installation. We only open the device manager here. And when we connect, if I haven't installed the driver, there may be an exclamation mark here. 
If this the first time connecting, the 7600 model may appear with an exclamation mark. Then, we uninstall it and restart the system. After reconnecting, if there is an exclamation mark or an unknown device, then we can directly update the driver. Select Browse My Computer for Driver Software manually. Locate the folder and click OK. Next, it will automatically install the driver for you, since I've already installed it. So it won't install again. Keep clicking Next until the installation is complete, and then restart. After restarting, you should be able to connect successfully. Moreover, this version of the driver allows you to connect to one XPU smoothly and stably. There won't be any loss in performance when using integrated graphics. Now, let me run a 3D mark for you. The 3D Mark Star is now available, 3036. That means when we unplug the external graphics card, the integrated graphics won't be affected in terms of performance. Let's try connecting the graphics card dock to see if it works smoothly. After connecting the one XPU, you can clearly see the graphics card. So, it's still very stable.